this week we're talking about something that many people find uncomfortable to talk about, and that is life insurance. So, Martin, where should we begin tonight? What, tonight? <laughs> Today, this morning? This is a hell of a Monday, isn't it? <laughs> it really is, yeah. I know, and please excuse me, I keep coughing. I'm so sorry if it's winding and irritating. Um, what is life insurance, first of all? OK, so life insurance is an insurance policy that pays out if somebody dies. And the reason it's important is it's there primarily to protect your loved ones from a lack of income that would come, especially if the main breadwinner dies. And it's worth understanding that, you know, if you look at a, a typical school class, one of those children will lose a parent before they were 18, oh, one in God. 29. Well, I was one of them, so which is why I'm so passionate mm. about this. Mm. So it's something that parents do need to think about. No one likes talking no, about it. No, well, let's just get, get over your sensitivities and deal with it. You know, not to you, to, to everybody mm. watching, because it's yeah. important to think about. So, of course, if, if a parent dies, there's going to be grief, there's going to be misery, it's going to be incredibly difficult to deal with, but there can also be financial consequences. And you have to analyse what those consequences would be. What would the financial impact be on your family? And some people might think that's a weird thing to be talking about. But on top of all that grief, if suddenly you can't pay your bills, and in the midst of the time when you're struggling to deal with life, you're also struggling to deal with money, it compounds the problems. That's why this is so important now. There, there, are, there are lots of different types of life insurance, and I'm going to keep it pretty simple today. Okay. Some might maybe even oversimplify, but just to put it in concept. There's level term insurance, which pays a set amount if you die within a, a set term. There's mortgage decreasing term insurance that is effectively there to pay your mortgage. So the amount it pays out gets lower as, as you pay your mortgage off, yeah. again, within the set term. There's whole of life insurance, which is a policy really there to mitigate inheritance tax. There are also life insurance investments that are something very different. I'm going to focus on level term insurance today, which is the prime one, the cheapest one for protecting the family if you die. So let me give you an idea. You pay a monthly premium and you would get a policy that was something like pay out £200,000 if I die within the next 20 years. That's how it would work. Obviously, you can change the amount and you can change the length of time. Now, the fact that it only pays out on death actually means there's generally not much argument here. And lots of other insurance policies, you have <coughs> right, arguments over claims. But if someone dies, they're dead. And if they die within a set term, it pays out a fixed amount. Again, no argument. So in many ways, the cheaper, as long as it's a reputable company, the better. If you can pay less, £200,000 within 20 years is £200,000 within 20 years. There are lots of variants, inflation linked, but we'll just keep it very simple. And that's level term insurance in a, nu assurance in a nutshell. 